So last time on Wild Child, we showed you our first encounter sailing through Lobster Pot Hell as we made it down the coast of New Brunswick and crossed over to Summerside PEI. In Summerside, we met some of the fabulous people of the island, provisioned the boat, and spent the second night at anchor. After a peaceful and uneventful night at anchor, we woke up the next morning to grey skies and cloudy conditions. We picked up the anchor, turned on the motor, and began to make our way out into the bay. The winds were on the nose as we were coming out of Summerside Bay, so we had to motor against it so we could get out far enough to bear off, improve our wind angle, raise our sails, and sail on. Summerside, we uh, we just anchor behind that island right there. So it's cloudy today. The wind is around 12 to 14. 15 to 20. Oh, 15 to 20 from the west. West. So when we out of the bay here, it will be a good wind for us. Uh, we. So what is your our goal today, Skipper? Well. Um, you can never believe a wind forecast, they always lie and they're always wrong, but based upon that information anyways, because that's all we have, we're going to be piling into pretty strong winds and we're on the windward shore so it's going to be wavy. There is a, there is a place we can tuck in in 20 miles, Charlottetown in 47, or Woods Island in 52 nautical miles. If we can get to Woods Island, like with strong wind you go faster and as long as it's not too wavy then it's not dangerous. If we can make it to Woods Island then we would be halfway to the Cancel Canal and could jump from Woods Island to Cancel Canal in another 50 miles tomorrow. Tonight the wind is supposed to come from New Brunswick to the offshore PEI which then would make us on the leeward shore which would make tomorrow's sail, although windy, leeward is safe and fast. Thank you, Skipper. As we were motoring out of the bay, getting out into more open and exposed water, the wave conditions started getting worse. Usually the camera never picks up the waves or shows you how it feels. I began texting my friends and family back home that we were pounding through the waves and it's difficult to show what the pounding looks like, but we tried. Sometimes the pounding on the nose of the boat was so severe as to bring the boat to a total stop. Even with the motor going at full blast, it would stop us cold. If we weren't moving, we couldn't steer and we would begin to drift sideways into the channel marker. The wind wasn't that bad, but I was beginning to second guess whether we should even try to do this at all. Eventually under motor, the channel turned and we were able to raise sails and use the oh. sails to help lift us out of the bay. Oh, shit. It's not that the wind conditions were that severe or that the waves were that bad. It's that the dominant wave period was just perfect to be bad for our boat. We're 12 over 4, wind angles at 80 though. I'm gonna... I think we gotta let the main out a bit. Imagine pounding through this for hours. Sailing wasn't fun that day. The problem was that the Northumberland Strait is actually really shallow and in shallow water it's affected differently by wind. It sort of pushes the waves together and pushes them up. We spent hours trying to figure out the best sail angle and best angle to the waves. Like that? Even though the winds were only averaging about 15 knots, 
I was kind of wary about trusting the forecasts. So we put the first reef in the main and had about 80% Jenny out because I didn't trust it not to get worse. Oh. Oh. Other YouTube videos oh, show that sailing is all about sunshine, blue sky, tropical That's beaches, awesome. and beautiful bikini clad women, but the reality is really quite different. I wanted to bring it to you raw. After getting pounded for four or five hours, eventually the seas did calm down a bit and that we were able to start making progress. But there was no chance we were going to make 50 miles that day. And Wild Child is approaching the Confederation Bridge, which is the land link between New Brunswick and PEI. And, uh -oh. Unfortunately, conditions are not real great. We have more roll than wind, our jenny's slamming around. And yep, we're still dodging lobster pots. An entire day sailing in uncomfortable wet conditions like this, and we still had to dodge lobster pots. By the time we crossed oh. under the Confederation Bridge, I really wasn't yeah. in a great mood. It's always lovely when a lobster fisherman is going in front of you to drop all his pots as you go. As the afternoon wore on, the conditions calmed down, Michelle took over the helm, and I sat on lobster pot watch for hours. So an update, so we crossed the uh, Confederation Bridge a few hours ago, maybe two hours ago. And at one point, it was so quiet that I start fishing. As soon as I start fishing, the wind pick, the wind pick up. So it's overcast now. It's foggy. All around you don't see the uh, you don't see land, and we're not far. We are maybe oh, three miles, four miles from land, and uh, we're going towards Charlottetown. And then when we're at the buoy for Charlottetown, we'll decide if we continue or not. Because now it's already uh, three minutes, uh, three o'clock. Uh, so we'll see. And because dark, or we're, it's supposed to be nasty tomorrow. We're saying that a few times, but tomorrow is supposed to be nasty. Wind should be from, let's see, east at 25 30 knots. So between uh, 25 30, so we're going to stay anchor protection and wait that it will be because the wave will have time to build so it won't be pleasant so but that's the update so let me show you a little the bit. Day conditions went from wind on the nose to starboard tack to no wind and by now we were at on a port tack as we were trying to approach Charlottetown the wind was coming from Charlottetown wind on the nose to get out of Summerside and wind on the nose to get into Charlottetown because that's the way mom likes to play. Oh, we have to change plan. It's getting uh, 20, 25 knots of wind. So we uh, just find a place that it will, we're going to plan now to drop the anchor because it's supposed to get nastier later. We had originally planned to visit Charlottetown PEI, but given that the winds were on the nose and it's 10 miles to get in, there's no way we wanted to tack through that as the sunset, so we needed another plan. Later we 
way across Charlottetown Bay, it was clear we weren't going to make it in. There was two cruise ships coming out, not on AIS. We decided that the safest thing for us to do was just to sail past Charlottetown Bay, go over to the lighthouse at Prism Point, and anchor on the protected side of the peninsula. We got into shelters, set the hook, and called it a day.